SpaceX's first commercial resupply services mission of 2020 is absolutely loaded with research to benefit life on Earth. This marks SpaceX's 20th resupply mission to the space station. So what's on this mission? Let's take a sneak peek. Adidas, the shoe and apparel giant, will be sending its proprietary Boost shoe technology to station for evaluation. With this experiment, Adidas will observe the flow of different sized foam particles of microgravity to improve product design for athletes around the world. Delta Fawcett will investigate water droplet formation on the space station to enhance the company's H2O kinetic showerhead technology. This technology takes an innovative approach to water conservation by controlling the size and speed of water droplets so the water pressure feels the same even though the showerhead is dispensing less water. This study will explore ways to better control water droplets to further enhance the H2O kinetic technology. In addition, both the National Science Foundation and the National Institutes of Health are funding multiple investigations on this mission. The National Science Foundation is supporting an investigation examining colloids and suspensions in microgravity to advance 3D printing technology in space-based environments. While NCATS, a branch of the National Institutes of Health, continues to build on the Tissue Chips in Space program by funding two investigations seeking new ways to study human disease and test potential drugs. Lastly, several projects flying on this mission are from startups that have received funding through the Mass Challenge Technology in Space Prize awarded by Boeing and the ISS National Lab. These projects are looking at drug development, technology for medical diagnostics, and new drug delivery methods to improve patient care on Earth. There's a lot going on with this mission, and this is just a quick snapshot of some of the investigations launching on SpaceX CRS-20. To get an idea about all ISS National Lab sponsored payloads on this mission, I encourage you to visit our webpage at issnationallab.org.